Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to my June 2023 reading wrap up. So I just have the one book to talk to you about today. That is Too Much Information by Dave Gorman. Dave Gorman is a comedian. I've uh, been a fan of his for a long time. I uh, actually have a story about that that I don't know if I'm actually allowed to tell. Basically his lawyers got in touch with me because I hacked his website. It was, it was a thing when I was like 15. Uh, but yes, anyway, this book is non-fiction, humorous non-fiction about how there's too much information. Um, you know, too many weird news websites, too many spam uh, accounts on Twitter, all of that stuff. Um, so very sort of thought provoking. It came out in 2014, but it still feels very relevant today as well, which is cool because I, I did worry it might feel a little bit uh, dated. Uh, all in all, I did enjoy it. Probably would give it a, a week four out of five. Dane reads. All right, guys, just the one book to wrap up for you today. That is The Songs of Distant Earth by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, this is basically, well, it said on the back, um, or was it in the introduction somewhere? It's based on, yeah, it's based on a short story that was in, uh, oh, God, what was it? I'm going to have to check now. Uh, the Other Side of the Sky, which I've already read. Um, I don't actually remember that story there, um, but the idea here is kind of like um, the Earth is doomed, basically and uh, it follows what happens after that. It's actually very readable, uh, very kind of, I guess it's thought provoking, but also it's got some great characterization and some great plotting to it. Even bits of like, bits where it took me by surprise, which I thought was quite good. Uh, overall, I give it a strong 3.5 out of five. Um, one of the better Arthur C. Clarke novels, but I mean, I have a ton to get through, so I'll get through to some more soon. Alrighty guys, just the one book to wrap up for you today. That is Rites of Passage by William Golding. Um, it basically it takes place on a ship. Uh, it's one of those where it's very beautifully written, um, but the plot wise, not so much. Uh, there wasn't a huge amount going on in there. I mean, I literally, after having read it, I couldn't tell you what it's about. Um, I just remember like odd bits like the fact that they didn't have a, uh, a priest on board because the ship's captain was an atheist, <laughs> like random things like that. Um, but yes, it was very beautifully written. Uh, I would give it like a 3.5 out of 5. It was all right. All right, everybody. Just the one book to wrap up for you today. That is The City and the Stars by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, science fiction from one of the masters of science fiction. It's really good. It's about like this uh, Earth city. This one great Earth city that stands the test of time. Um, that's pretty much the concept here. There is a plot to it. Basically, some people discover the city and shit. Um, I have read a short story that apparently this was either inspired by or the two of them are interrelated in some way um i think the short story was like a precursor to it like an earlier version of the story and i'm not gonna not gonna not gonna bop 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 i'm gonna lie the uh, short story was better than the the novel um but yes i still gave it like a 3.5 out of 5 it was okay it was just okay okay hello everybody um i don't know where my tripod is, I'm actually just set myself a reminder to order a new one. But in the meantime, you get me freehand. I have just finished reading uh, Speedy and Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson. This was a, another 3.5 out of 5. The uh, Oz books are fairly generic by this point, but I mean, I am still enjoying them. I will still keep reading. This is number 28 in the series. I don't think I have that many more to get through now before I get to the point at which uh, Ruth Plumley Thompson is no longer uh, writing them as well, which will be very exciting. It's eventually going to become the longest series I've I've ever worked through because you know me I like being a completionist but yes speedy and Oz it was it was just okay 3.5 out of 5 all right, everybody, just the one book to wrap up for you today. That is Rendezvous with Rama by Arthur C. Clarke. Full review of this coming soon, as you can see from the fact that I tabbed it out. But uh, yes, I really enjoyed it. Strong 4 out of 5, maybe even a 4.5 out of 5. Probably going to be one of my books of the quarter. Um, basically, it... it concerns what happens when mankind discovers that they're not alone in the universe they find this big old thing uh, like a big cylinder whizzing through space and they investigate what's inside it and yeah just very well written very convincingly written but there's also some really good stuff on like human psyche uh, psychology all of that good stuff lots of awesome science fiction generally a good book um, yeah an Arthur C. Clarke that I did enjoy very much all right, guys, just got the one book to wrap up for you today. That is The Book of Dane by Wonderbly. So this was a gift from my partner, Shay. Uh, so thank you, Shay. This was a birthday present. She put in it, uh, Dane, happy birthday, baby. I'm so lucky I get to celebrate your birthday with you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much, Shay. And it's uh, like a little custom book all about me. It's all about Dane Cobain, the star of the show, baby. And it's got all kinds of cool stuff like, uh, you know, what was the number one record at the time? It was Sealed With A Kiss by Jason Donovan. Um, you know, Bit of Fry and Laurie was the top show. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade was the top blockbuster. 
uh, some stats on what I've been up to. Like I've, uh, my heart has beat 1,287,498,240 times. Should that be beat or beaten? I don't know. But yes, uh, it's all about my 34th birthday. Very cute, very adorable. Thank you so much, Shay, for getting this for me. Um, I mean, enjoyment-wise, it's a five out of five. I can't, I can't fault it. And definitely, like, one of my books of the course and one of my books of the year and one of the few books where after I've read it, I'm actually like, I'm keeping that one. Um, it's only the second real book that I have that's, like, personalised to me, uh, at least in a sentimental way. I've got a couple that were sent to me by, like, publicists for my book blog back in the day. Um, but, yes, really enjoyed it. The Book of Dane, five out of five. Thank you, Shay Shay. Alrighty, uh, just one book to wrap up for you today and that is Prelude to Space by Arthur C. Clarke. Uh, I can't really show you the book because it's literally falling apart. Um, but yes, it was one of his earlier efforts. Um, it's really interesting because it, it's sort of, I, don't, I think it was written in the 40s and it kind of predicts a lot of what was gonna, what was to come with space travel and stuff. Um, so yeah, it was pretty good, like 3.5 out of 5. Um, not his best, but certainly enjoyable enough. Uh, review coming soon, hopefully. Hi guys, uh, Slightly Ill Dane here, and I have two books to wrap up for you today. So the first is the Rattle Young Poets Anthology. I gave this a strong 3.5 out of 5. This is basically poetry by young kids. Um, so for example, Janelle Ad Adamson for Daddy on his birthday, aged 8. My dad is a strong tree. He can never be broken by thunder or ice storms. He carries my sadness in his branches. I feel happy again. He shelters me from the rain of my fears. His kisses tickle me like leaves. I like sitting with my back against his strong trunk. He makes me feel important in this world. So yeah, really cool poetry by uh, you know, young kids. Then we have Rattle Issue 80, poetry by older people, I guess. Um, I like this one about the dog, actually. This one was Gary Green, a poem about not getting a dog. I should get a dog, an unwitting but willing emotional support animal, but what if outside one day, just working in the yard, I have a horrible chainsaw accident and die and he or she is in the house, maybe because I let her or him sleep in, for example, and no one finds my stupid legless body for days and he or she is hungry and frightened and alone, barking at my stupid dead legless body from a window, if I'm even within sight of a window. Bark, get up, let me out, bark, bark, I need to pee, I want to play dead too. Bark, bark, bark. Where's my ball? Are you lying on my ball? And in the meantime, he or she has to drink from the toilet. I should get a dog, but what if I become attached and I don't have a horrible chainsaw accident? But one day he or she seems a little off. So we go to the vet and the vet says, there's nothing I can do. If only you'd brought her or him in yesterday instead of working in your stupid yard. And I have to put him or her down and stand there, helpless yet again, and watch her or him die. As I've stood and watched so many, too many in my life die. Leaving me more frightened and alone, even more broken, grieving, hungry for companionship. Which is why I got him or her in the first place. Then what would I do get a dog so yeah rattle issue 80 probably a four out of five of this one I enjoyed this more than the um the previous edition so yes very cool stuff all right guys just the one book to wrap up for you today that is Imperial Earth by Arthur C Clarke um this is <clears throat> like a sci-fi almost like a space opera but not quite um but yeah set in 2020 2276 uh it's got bits of like sci-fi politics and all of that stuff in it it's okay to be honest it's not as good as like i mean i i read this off the back of reading rendezvous with rama which was amazing so this one not so much but i guess worth reading i gave it like a middle of the road 3.5 out of 5 it is i right. all right guys just the one book to wrap up oh it's the end of the month well th okay this is gonna be confusing um all right, well, this is the wrap-up out. Well, ev anyway, everybody, those are all the books I read in June 2023. Not as many as usual because I've been sick. I'm still sick. I have this weird-ass finger thing going on. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.